Hey, welcome to another tutorial from Photoshop is Fun. Now today what I want to do is something for the beginners, the people who just got Photoshop, opened it up, they see all the different elements within the UI and the options and the tools, and they find themselves a little bit intimidated and not exactly sure where to start. So if that's you, then stick around because what I'm going to do is introduce you to three different adjustment layers that are all a single click of a button in order to understand Photoshop's enormous power. And then once you understand these at the basic level and the concepts, then you can move on to the more advanced things and other tutorials. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so one of the basic steps in an image processing workflow is getting your levels and your tonal values correct. Now, Photoshop 6 has taken an enormous leap forward in helping new people do that through the single click of a button. Now, if you're using a previous version of Photoshop, you can still take advantage of this technique. Just note that it won't be nearly as powerful as it is within CS6. And the reason for that is because Adobe took advantage of crowdsourcing when they developed this feature. Basically, what happened was when they released the public beta, one of the things you had to do was opt in to send your image information back to Adobe and they used that information to build a massive database of histograms that they could measure and tweak their algorithms against to develop a really powerful set of features that helped you make these basic adjustments through the single click of a button. So let's go ahead and get started with the first one. Okay, so the first one we're going to start with is the levels adjustment layer. We're going to use the auto version of that. So what you'll want to do is go over to your layers palette, click on the adjustment layer icon, and then go up to levels. And you'll get a new UI, and you can see that there's three main components to um, levels. There is a black point slider, there's a mid-tone slider, and then there's a white point slider. And in advanced tutorials, you'll learn how to use these, but for now, since we're just getting started with what levels are, all I want you to do is just click the auto button and take advantage of Photoshop's power to do this automatically for you. And after clicking that, you can see that um, Photoshop has gone ahead and taken its best guess at how to adjust these levels perfectly. And quite frankly, it's done a pretty good job. If I were to turn off that level adjustment, you can see the difference between the original and then the adjusted version. So that's levels. I'm going to go ahead and delete this to show you the next one. So next up is the curves adjustment layer and once again I'm going to go over to the layers palette and I'm going to click on the adjustment layer icon and go up to curves. And curves is a very powerful adjustment layer. In fact, it's my favorite, you know, once you get into the advanced version of it. But for now, once again, we're just going to use the auto button and let Photoshop do all the work for us. And right away you can see that it made some tonal adjustments to this photograph. So if I were to turn it off, you can see the original and then back on. Okay, I'm going to throw it away and show you the third adjustment layer. And the third one is the brightness and contrast adjustment layer. So again, in the layers palette, you go down to the adjustment layer icon and you click on brightness and contrast. And you can see you have a brightness slider and a contrast slider, but we're going to go ahead and click on the auto button and let Photoshop once again do all the work for us. Go ahead and close this and you can see the difference when I turn it off, there's the original, and there it is on. All right, so now you have three different techniques to automatically adjust the tonal values of your images. So grab some of your photographs, run these techniques against them, and see how it works out for you. Once you feel comfortable, go ahead and look through my channel and move on to other tutorials so you can take full advantage of Photoshop's power.